Hello and welcome to the Women Creating Wealth 10K in 10 Days Challenge. We hope you will enjoy this exclusive content that we've created with you in mind. And we hope that it might help shift your own money consciousness, money stories, and your thoughts around what just might be possible for you. So we invite you to come along. And if you would like to help us with our own 10K in 10 Days Challenge, we would love if you would shop amongst our services and our products. We have memberships for enjoying family photo sessions and family art. Every once in a while, we have a few mini session uh, events that are available to the public. And we have a beautiful guided self-love meditation and a gorgeous, warming, comfy, chamomile and cinnamon tea that you can pair with your self uh, love meditation. So enjoy having a look around, enjoy shopping and treating yourself, and we hope you enjoy this episode. Hi everyone, welcome to the Women Creating Well 10K in 10 Days Challenge. I am so excited to have you here. By now we are on day nine, but I'm going to take us back to the second day of the challenge because I feel like there was something said during that day that was incredibly important for people to carry on with them for the rest of their lives. So it was in the interview with Solera and it was towards the end of the interview and she said, um, you know, we really should be thinking about ourselves as if we're 20 years ahead of where we are right now. Like, let's say we have the house, we have the car, we have the money in the bank, then what? And I just thought that was such a brilliant question. Then what? Like, who are you being in the world? What things are important to you? What are you prioritizing? Um, because newsflash, the things that you want, that you feel like will take you 20 years to get, you can start experiencing those things now. Like say you want more time with your family. You can prioritize time with your family now. Um, say you want a better quality of food. You can, you don't have to go a hundred percent in. You can say, okay, well, I'm going to go buy my vegetables at an organic, um, market. Um, and then later on, maybe you up level to getting your meat from a butcher that's really well trusted um, and highly recommended. Like you can take baby steps to where you say you want to go. But otherwise, if you only say, I want these things and you feel like it's going to be 20 years until you get there, you're blocking yourself purely by thinking that. And you're missing the opportunity to normalize those areas of your life in small increments so that your body and your subconscious mind um, doesn't freak out instantly over having that. So it's a much more sustainable path to that which you say you want rather than simply making a leap there. And quantum leaping is certainly possible. I have done it myself. Um, and yet I also see where taking those, those conscious baby steps towards that which you say you want is a beautiful way to normalize, to help your nervous system regulate throughout that process and um, to go ahead and start experiencing the life that you say you want. And it's so easy to walk around and make a list of that which we want. Actually, for some people, that's the most challenging part is figuring out what they want, <laughs> I'll be honest. But let's say you've moved to the place of figuring out what kind of car you want to drive, what kind of house you want to live in, all of those things. It's like, then what? It's just such a brilliant question. And so for me, I was thinking about what that would be. And for me, it's all about my relationships. So yes, like I want um, a bigger home a, a, in a beautiful setting. Um, I want beautiful cars to drive at, you know, at my disposal that are just there and available for me. And I have plans for how that's going to happen. And yet, it's still, none of that changes the fact that the most important thing to me is to appreciate and enjoy my life on the way to there and once I get there. And yeah, like relationships are super important to me. So being connected to my husband, being connected to my children, being present with them, because you can spend a lot of time with your partner, you can spend a lot of time with your children, but that doesn't mean that you're spending quality time with them. It doesn't mean that you're at all clued in and connected to them. It doesn't mean you're being present with them. So being present in my own body and enjoying and appreciating the experience that I get to have in this body, being present and enjoying the experiences that I get to have when I'm with other people, um, 
like even if it's sitting down to have a meal, like being present and experiencing that, enjoying conversations with other people, like being engaged with them. Those are all super important things. And yet I don't have to wait 20 years to experience them. I can have that now and it's going to make the path to getting the other things so much richer. So one of the conversations I was having with my husband today was the fact that while there are things that we want that we are not yet experiencing in our present reality, um, we do have so much further that we can go in just appreciating where we are now. Like there's so much more we can do to enjoy where we live, enjoy our home, enjoy being in our bodies and moving them, whether it's going out for a walk or doing yoga or hiring a personal trainer or whatever it is. Like there's opportunities to enjoy being in our bodies. There's opportunities to enjoy just our breath. It's opportunities to enjoy the food that we eat. There's opportunities to enjoy time spent together as a family which is what well-fed photography was all about. It was something that I craved and something that I wanted. And so I created a business around it and it was something that I aspired to. So basically the brand that I built was in every sense of the word, what I aspired to. And it's what I've moved my life to. And yet I still see that there are areas where I can go deeper with that. So I feel like I don't see life as linear anymore. I see it as cyclical. And I feel like this is why we come back to certain um, lessons over and over again, because there are new layers and there are new understandings and there's new information that we bring to the lesson every time that we move through it again. So I don't feel like, um, I don't know, I don't feel like bad when when a similar lesson comes back around I feel like, oh, this is my chance to go deeper. This is my chance to have an even richer, fuller experience with this lesson that I'm learning. So I hope that that was inspiring for you. Um, let me know if you're connecting into what then for yourself and what that changes for you. And it, it really made me think like, I know Solaire is very connected to charitable giving and she talks about how her understanding the things that she cares about from like a charitable aspect cleared the path to wealth for her because all of a sudden she knew what she wanted to do she knew why she was doing it and money became very easy for her and so now i'm thinking like yeah like what positive influences would i like to create on the world along the way to getting all the other things that i want or that i say that i want or i want to experience um because really it's that impact that is the most important thing. All of the material um, parts of it are amazing, but I see them more as the carrots dangling in front of me. So they're the motivators. They're the things that in the short term um, help maintain focus, but in the long term, it will always be about the impact and the spiritual growth for me. That's personally what I get out of this all and what I enjoy the most. So yeah, it's made me very inquisitive. It's made me very curious. And I'm excited to see what happens from there. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this challenge and we're coming towards the end of it. So if you feel called to help us with our own goal of 10K in 10 days, please have a look through our website, wealthedphotography.com. Uh, there's so many different ways to contribute to our goal of 10K in 10 days. One is to become a member, which um, depending on our membership tiers that you choose from, you can enjoy a photo session or multiple photo sessions throughout the year, as well as selections of family art to go with that. Um, you can support our podcast, the Living a Life Well Fed podcast as a patron or through sponsoring or advertising with the podcast. We enjoyed over 9,000 views and downloads um, in our first season, which was amazing. And we'd love to multiply that going forward in future seasons. Um, you can also so, you know, support our goal and invest in yourself through family art. So if you have photographs on a memory stick or um, a CD even, or an external hard drive or stored somewhere in the cloud, um, then as long as you know your password or as long as your external hard drive or USB work and you have the rights to print those photographs, we can absolutely make beautiful pieces of art for you and give those photographs the physical presence that they deserve to have. Um, so that is one way. 
Then we also have our book of breastfeeding stories, which we've been working on for the past two years. And we're still about 10 grand away from being able to get it over to the publisher and have it be ready to go out into the world. So if you feel strongly about normalizing, supporting and promoting breastfeeding, that just might be a beautiful way for you to contribute. And we also have a self-love meditation, which is on sale right now, um, as well as a beautiful cup of chamomile and, and cinnamon tea. And that actually pairs beautifully with the meditation. So you can create a whole ritual around doing your self-love meditation, enjoying your cup of tea, and just really pouring into yourself because you deserve it. You're so worthy of it. And yeah, so we love that. And as you contribute to our 10K and 10 uh, days goal, we are also contributing to other female-led businesses and charities along the way. So we appreciate your help in this. And we have so enjoyed, it's not over yet, but we've so enjoyed the messages that we've received and just how this is impacting other women and, and opening their minds and men as well, opening their minds to the possibilities opening their minds to thinking about money in a way that is so much more positive and helpful and uplifting and if nothing else, neutral. And yeah, like let us know if you would like to see a challenge like this again. Let us know if you'd love to hear from more guest speakers around this subject. And if there's something else you'd love to hear about, let us know because we're far more than a photography company. We feel like it's our mission to bring uh, value to the world through wonderful interviews through, yes, creating beautiful pieces of family art that will go on to affect multiple generations in a positive way. And we're here to serve and support. Ultimately, our goal is to serve and support through joy, love, and appreciation. So if there's something that you want to hear or resources that you would like to avail of, let us know. And we hope you're enjoying this and we hope you enjoy the last few days. So cheers to you and your success. And we'll chat soon. All the best. Bye.